So today we are going to be pulling apart the engine. Um, since last video, I took the clutch off and I just put it on the stand and sprayed it with some purple power because that's what I was recommended. Here's the clutch. So focus. It's pretty bad. I think this is the original clutch and this is what leads me to believe it's the original clutch because it has all the hot spots and this car never had a welded diff so you know, it wasn't drifted so those are just from occasional clutch kits or whatever but yeah my goal is before the end of the day to get it down to the block really um, it's already like five o'clock so I'd like to get this done today because this is really the only time I have to work on it and then I can get it sent off to the machine shop next week and then they can work on that for like two or three weeks because next weekend we'll be at Automotion. So I uh, won't really be able to work on this. And I just bumped you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I was really zoomed in. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna put you on a tripod and we'll start ripping this thing apart. So I just had to cut one of the studs on the water pump because I can't get this, I couldn't get this bracket off. I tried taking it off when it was in the car because I wanted to take my radiator fan out. And by radiator fan, I mean clutch fan uh, to make room for my intake. But one of them like stripped and I don't know where it is. But yeah, I couldn't even get with like a vice grip. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna be getting a new water pump. Now, I don't know if I did that right. I don't think I did because it shouldn't have been that hard. But yeah, the intake is off, but there was a coolant hose that has the these stupid clamps like that. And I went to unscrew it and it snapped. So took the angle grinder, cut it, and accidentally cut that. Um, I don't know if that's something that I can take out and replace or if I need a whole new top half of the intake manifold. Hopefully not and hopefully that piece isn't too much. 
but it is a KA, so it's probably not very expensive. Um, I'm going to take a break for a little bit and then probably clean these up, put these in their own bag so I know that they're the, for the intake. But yeah, that's how she's looking. I don't really know how much I can clean up on the block though, considering it is an iron block, so it is brown. So this was as far as I was able to get tonight. Um, I got everything off of the intake side and everything off of the exhaust side, even though you can't see it, there's no lights, but you should still be able to see it because I can see it fine. And the ISO is up as, or as low as it goes, but everything's off of that side. So aside from the dipstick, all I have left is to remove this and then I can take the front timing chain cover off but look at that side look inside the head um, I wasn't able to get overtime that I applied for for tomorrow so that sucks but I'm kind of glad that that happened because now I have another day that I can work on this yeah you can't see because it's just dark but this stuff is just so grimy, so I have a lot of stuff to power wash off tomorrow. Um So I got the head off the block, here it is, the light isn't very good so you can't really see but I'll probably show you again when it's lighter even though, you know, we got better lights but it doesn't reach over here and then uh, have a look at this. Cylinder walls still look really good even though uh, some coolant got on the pistons when I pulled the head off, I don't know why you can see but the cross hatching is good. Um, 
all of the gaskets like melted to the block, so I have to like get that off, so that kind of sucks. But just a little update if you can even hear me right now. I got everything out of the block. I had to run into town to get, uh, I forgot how many point this is, but I had to get this, this was a 10, to get the oil squares out. And now the block has everything off of it. Um, aside from this, I don't know how to get that off, but I'm sure it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this in the back of the Civic. And I'm probably not gonna film anything else. I'm not gonna film me dropping it off at the machine shop. So this is probably where the video is gonna end. Um, there's not really anything else that I can think of saying. Um, when I get back, I'm just going to clean up all this stuff some more, organize some stuff, clean up my mess. Uh, yeah, so bye.